my name is Lee and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is the first kind of video I've done like this, so apologies if I'm a bit rusty. Uh, but what I want to do is try and be as consistent as possible, making these videos and update, updating content onto YouTube uh, on a regular basis. Uh, firstly, I want to talk about the latest kind of initiative I got into, which is the, the whole NFT craze, the NFT side of things. Intrigued me because obviously it's art based. Um, for those that don't know it, NFT stands for non fungible token. There's plenty of great tutorials online of, and I, that I break down and explain what that is. What I want to do today is look at my own artwork that I'm starting to build up on my NFT uh, collection on OpenSea.io, which is one of the bigger uh, NFT platforms. How I got started um, and where I'm at at the moment. Now, I'm only fresh, really, enough into it. I haven't sold anything yet, so hopefully that'll change soon enough. Uh, and I'm kind of finding my feet. Uh, it was difficult enough to start up the 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 channel or the, uh, not the channel, the, uh, the page and the account. Just getting my head around how gas fees work and uh, all that lovely stuff. Uh, and there's a couple of things I learned as well that will hopefully save you a bit of money when you start to uh, create an account, uh, especially with Ethereum gas fees because they can be an absolute nightmare. And I learned the hard way a little bit. So um, yeah, what you can see now at the moment is my OpenSea account. And this is uh, kind of my mix account between a couple of collections that I've got. So in OpenSea, you can create collections uh, and you can have specific teams, I suppose, for whatever you want to put up there. Um, you can put up various things like trading cards. Uh, you can put up single static artworks. You can put up a variety of different um, items. Um, so the first thing I did was sort out my um, wallet on my for my um, for my NFT side of things because you have to have a wallet um, to connect. To create a uh, an OpenSea account, you have to have a an active wallet, um, you know, Coinbase wallet or something to that effect, um, and you sync that then with your OpenSea account. So the one that I use and probably recommend is this one here, which is uh, what's the name of it again? MetaMask. <laughs> if I can remember the name of it, MetaMask, um, and you log in uh, to that. Let me just log out here. I'll just give a give me an example. It's gonna log out. Okay. So you have your wallet, and when you sign up to, to MetaMask, you have to put in your wallet details, and you have to do a few things like that to get set up on that side of it. Um, I'll actually open up MetaMask. Or MetaMask. Okay, you can see what it looks like this way. So it asks you to download it. You can't actually go in through the website itself. So you download it and add it, add it as an extension to your Chrome, or you can actually download the app itself on your phone. So I've just added it as an extension in Chrome. So it goes up there. Here it is. Um, so when I go to OpenSea and I've made, created an account and all that, it'll ask me to sign into my wallet, um, or I can use a different wallet, but I'm gonna sign into my regular wallet. Now, normally it'll ask for a password or something like that, um, but I am uh, I'm already kind of saved that up, so that's fine. So this is my screen. Uh, you create your your look and personalization of it. So I've made it look like my brand and how everything looks there. Uh, the the overall look of it is quite nice because it, it has all your pieces there showing up with uh, how much it costs, etc. When you joined and all buy all about yourself. Um, so. What you want to do then is let's just say you want to create a new you have an artwork done and you want to upload it onto OpenSea. So let's just get started with that. Um, I just want to before I start create show show you the create uh, function. I'm going to show you I've got collections. So if I go to my collection, I've got two collections. I've just my artwork, my static artwork, and then I have my Dead by Thirteen trading cards collection, which is Dead by Thirteen is an idea that I had quite a while ago. Um, originally for a graphic, graphic novel I was going to do, um, I had a story built up 
uh, and I was again thrown around. I wasn't given enough time, but as soon as NFTs came around, I saw that a lot of people were doing um, trading cards. They were doing kind of re really unique uh, trading cards as well. And I always like to drop top trumps kind of ideas. So I created the Dead by Dead 13 characters that I've got as trading cards. So for example, you can own specific uh, collections of the trading cards, rare ones and more common ones. So for example, this guy here is more of a, a common trading card. Um, if I click in on this, you can see there I've got a bit of an animated GIF. Um, you can see the price that I've got. So to buy one of them, it's working out at $10.92. And there are uh, 500 in circulation, okay? So that's the way I'm thinking of, of, of actually approaching this. The, the hard part is actually, I find, is, is pricing your work. You know, how much How much do you want to give it away for? Uh, how much do you want, sorry, to sell it for? How much uh, is it worth, etc.? cetera? Um, that's the tricky part. So I'll go back out and then like this one, for example, is I've made this a premium card. So there's only um, uh, 20 of them and I've put the price up really high on this. Again, I could be completely off with the pricing on this at this stage. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to have to really learn as I'm going with this and just see what other people are doing. You can see like the likes of the uh, the yacht. Is, uh, what's a yacht? Uh, zombie zombie heads the zombie heads i can't think of the name one of the most popular guys anyway but they um and the pixel art kind of guys i don't know i don't get that too much because it looks like it's just a template that's being rehashed and rehashed fair play to them they're making a lot of money so if it works it works uh but what i'm trying to do with my cards is give a lot of quality uh, and i want quality over quantity in a sense so i won't have as much uh, uploaded as say th those guys uh, will have they'll have thousands I, I just want to have a lot of quality uh, that, that I put up there and when you buy any of these you're going to get original artwork as well so the great thing is I've got these un this unlockable content here so reveal unlockable content so if I click that now what it's asked me to do is for me to to when I'm engaging in this here it pops up this signature request. Now this, this comes up when you need to do anything like mint an artwork or sell an artwork. It will ask you to sign. So it's, you're signing with your with your wallet really. Um, so I'm just gonna sign this. Okay, so that's giving me the, the link then to my unlockable content. I suppose because I'm the owner, I can get this. But if you bought it, uh, you'll be able to get the unlockable content. And what that is then, I've got that hosted on Pinata. So Pinata Cloud. The great thing about Pinata Cloud is it will last a lot longer than say putting it up on a Dropbox, which is fine, you can put up your Dropbox, but the way Pinata works is just a little bit more uh, secure um, for future selling you know, purposes. And I think it's, it's, it's gonna be like more of a, a permanent fixture. So I've got all my different um, artworks and everything in there with the CID address and then also the actual, I'll just go into this one here. So this is like the original artwork for this flat art society uh artwork that you will get when you buy that um nft okay and the other ones down here then for example this one has m a lot more to it so when you buy say this test tantrum uh card you will get the original artwork you'll get the animated gif you'll get the movie file you'll get some original concept art and things like that so you get a lot more you know and that's where i think the quality nfts are fantastic because if you buy from someone like say James Jean, who's really pro prolific now on, on a, or tropical, you know, or, or on a NFTs, um, NFT art, you'll get fantastic, uh, high quality prints and things like that. So, uh, something to bear in mind there that you can do with OpenSea and the other guys as well, Rareable and, um, there's, there's a few other big guys there too. Okay. So, um, what I did then was, um, uh, I'm going to actually uh, create, I'm going to create a new one here, sure, why not? I'll put up one of my other artworks. Okay, so I won't put up a new card because there's one in development, which I'm going to do on a few YouTube videos just to show how I actually make it. So I'm going to uh, create a new artwork. So what you do is you drag in the, the image or the file. So I'm going to drag in my 
file itself for some of the artwork. So I'm going to grab one that I haven't put up yet. So let me see. Okay, um, for intents and purposes, I'm going to put up this one here, Zodiac. I'm going to call it its name, Zodiac. You can get quite descriptive there if you wish. So the Eternal Link OpenSea will include a link to this URL on this item's detail page so the users can click to learn more about it. So what I've done is on my um, cards, the trading cards, all of the links go to the Dead by 13 um, section of my website. So if you click in here, If you click in here, there we go. So if you click in here, you can see uh, I've got all the, the cars that are available. So you can kind of see what's coming soon. There's, there's more coming soon from each of the each of the crews. And uh, you can see the different crews that are there. And the name of the, the, name of the, uh, the character is there. So um, yeah, so that's, that's the way I work. And then people can see, oh yeah, this, this actually, there's a connection there. So I'm just gonna leave this blank for this guy at the moment because I don't have this necessarily up anywhere yet. Description then, you can put in uh, quite a detailed description here. Uh, so we can say whatever it is about it, say I'm just gonna call it Zodiac. If I can spell it, Zodiac. Illustration. The only thing I'm not sure about is how it takes into account the description, whether it helps with SEO, whether it helps with search functionality. So that's why I'm just be descriptive as possible when you're doing this. Um, I'm not going to be too descriptive now for this purpose here, but I'm just going to say digital art um, developed in Adobe Photoshop using uh, Wacom tablet and you can go big detail on that as much as you like collection then so then add it to a collection so i'm going to add it to the art of lee grace added that and then you can add in these properties now i'm using these a lot in the trading cards because i can add in stats so if i click plus i can add in the stats of my um certain character that i've got going on so say for example one of the characters i can say it's speed i have speed and out of 100 because it's a top trump game, we need it all out of 100. Um, so I can give 70, I can say um, strength, you know, um, defense, or whatever you want to put in, and then you can give it out of 100. Um, so again, you're adding you're adding that value to the item, um, and it's just make you know, it's, it's giving it a lot more weight, I think, um, for when you're selling it. Now I'm just going to, whoop, I'm going to delete these because they're not relative to what I'm putting up. Now, so then we have, so if there if there are certain properties that you have in your artwork or, or anything like that, you can put that up there. Um, I'm going to put in some unlockable lockable content because I want to give them access to the high res resolution of the file. So version of the file. So I'm just going to upload it to Pinata. I'm going to upload a file, select the file, and I'm going to open up Zodiac. Uh, I have the option to give them the PSD as well if I wish, but it's going to leave the JPEG and upload that. Okay, so that's going to upload there now. <clears throat> so you can see then that's up. I just click on on uh, this link here and it copies out. Um, but I, what I normally like to do is to take the actual gateway link up here, copy that and then paste that in so that actually when they do click the unlockable content it's going to be directly bring them directly to the uh, to the jpeg there okay so that's pasted in unlockable content you can put if it's explicit or sensitive content uh, and then now we get down to the actual supply so i could not and i'll explain this in more detail i could not get onto the main ethereum um selling platform because it was Firstly, too expensive, and secondly, it gave me a lot of hassle, which I'll explain. But I went on the Polygon network. And the, the, the great thing about the Polydoc, Polygon uh, network is that there's no gas fee. Um, and it works with Ethereum, so it's part of the Ethereum network. But you won't be found for um, 
on on the um, on the OpenSea network, you won't be found for anything for Ethereum. You'll be found for Polygon. So it's something to bear in mind. You'll see this little Polygon symbol. Um, depends how many copies you want to put into circulation. So for my singular artwork, I'm kind of just doing one copy, and I'm keeping it very expensive just to see if anyone like if anyone buys one. That's, that's the way I'm working with it at the moment. For this and for this now, I'm just going to try a hundred, um, and I'm going to create this. Okay, so it takes a second to create your artwork. Okay, so it says you've created, you have the option to share, social media, things like that. Uh, and now we are going to look at selling it. So there's all the details. So I'm just gonna go to sell. Okay, you see the preview, great quantity. <clears throat> so there's 100 available and the way I think it's going to work is if I put quantity one here and for one quantity, I'm going to have an amount of, I'll keep it at zero point zero zero three, um, which is telling me now the price is below collection floor price of 0 0.2 ETH. Um, It's very strange. I'm going to actually just still keep it as 0 0.003. That's fine. It's going to bring my floor price down. Still trying to figure out what that means. But anyway, um, so we've got that in there for 10.92. Uh, they put a service fee on everything. So there's a 2.5% service fee. And then my royalty on top of that then is 5% uh, for creator royalty. Uh, you can up that for creator royalty as well if you wish. But again, it depends on how much you want to actually make uh, as people sell on, you know. So every time someone sells on, you make a, a percentage back. So I'm going to complete that listing. Now I need to sign. So I need to sign to in order to, to, to make that available on the network for sale. For sale. So the artwork's always already minted. Now I'm just selling it. So I'll press sign. It'll come up again with the signature request form over here. And I hit sign. And we're done. So the NFT, NFT now is listed. So there it is. And with uh, the Polygon network as well, uh, it, you, you don't get as many options as you do in the Ethereum network with um, what way you can sell it. But I've got, um, it's currently on a sale for 181 days. So after that, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to renew everything uh, that I've got up when the time clock's down. I've yet to, I've yet to actually experience that. So, um, you can see all your stats and everything of how it's going down here. As I said, I don't have a sale yet, so I'm not even I'm not even sure how, how that gonna how that pans out. But uh, if I go to the marketplace here and just check all NFTs, I'll go to new actually, it should pop up here, hopefully. Now there's just a lot of NFTs going around at the moment. Um, some of them are selling for ridiculous prices, like three hundred Ethereum. Like it's ridiculous. Let's just click into that and see what that is. I, I like the little logic behind this. It's absolutely this. Damien Hurst, the currency. I don't know. This this blows my mind that you can even do this. Um, <laughs> let's just have a look and see how much this is. Thirty-four thousand dollars for that. Okay, so yeah, there's the stuff like that that I just can't get my head around. Um, but fair play to him if they make money from it. That's great. Let's just scroll down and just see if I can. Um, spot my artwork if it's listed yet board api club that's the one i was trying to think of no sign just yet might need to get a refresh or maybe single items let's try single items recently listed scrolling down perhaps it takes a little bit of time to actually show up or else it's been pushed down a hell of a lot <laughs> but uh, you can see the kind of stuff that's up here um, is crazy you know, it, it's some, some of it is, let's be honest, absolutely terrible. Oh, there it is. 
So it's been pushed down that far already, and it's been put up, well, how many seconds ago? A minute ago, at most. <laughs> uh, so there it is. Okay, you can see that there. Um, yeah, so that is the selling part. Now, the hard part was actually getting getting to uh, myself ready to sell um, and to um, set my profile up for uh, Polygon. Because what happened was I went to set myself up as the Ethereum and uh, it was, uh, you have to keep an eye on the gas fees. So the gas fees are, um, they'll take a percentage of uh, the cost to to get your 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 um, your seller profile ready on on OpenSea, um, you have to pay miners to with gas fee to um, to mine your Ethereum or to something of some extent like that. It's mind boggling. Check a few videos out on that. Um, but I wasn't making the the payment, so I missed the boat every time. I my I didn't have enough gas fees. So when you go on to um, when you go into your wallet and you try to add, you try to um, get your gas fees up, uh, you can go certain times of the day, it'll be, it'll be much more higher at, at certain times of the week and day, at day in the week, but it'll also be lower than at certain off times like uh, Saturday or Sunday. So even when I waited till uh, Saturday or Sunday, the gas fees were still coming in at around 60, 70 euro. Um, and I had to ensure that I would have enough to make the transaction and the thing about it is if you don't have enough if you just don't have enough funds the transaction is not going to go through but the gas fee is still going to be taken so what i ended up doing was losing um about 100 euros worth of um cash in gas fees regardless you can't get them back they're non-refundable um so you could end up losing a nice lump of money at the start if you're not careful so that's why i went to the polygon network because you have the option to go to polygon you don't have as much reach i guess and you don't have as much options in um as you do within ethereum when it comes to sales and things like that but um the um the, the network the, the fact that there's no gas fees was a massive thing for me after that i was pretty uh i was pretty taken aback about how the gas fees were were, were quite so high and they can go up to like to the thousand, the thousand euro more mark. I've seen it going crazy at certain times of the day. So something to be aware of. Keep an eye on that. Um, so yeah, so, so that's really my very first foray into F NFTs. Um, I'm only a couple of months deep. Uh, so check out my um, check out my website, uh, leegrace.com. You can see the Dead by 13 selection in there. And then you can go to my um, OpenSea account or my Instagram or Twitter. Follow all those accounts. Um, and I'll be updating as, as often as I, as I can. And uh, next week then, hopefully, I will be doing, finishing off one of the next F NFTs for the trading card for Dead by 13, so it's another character. Uh, and then possibly another video then based on how I make the spinning 3D card. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. I actually get to say that now. <laughs> and uh, thanks very much, I'll see you again.